Hey guys, my name is Marcy. I work here at Scales and Tails on the Rattlesnake team. This is Lindsay. She helps me do a lot of the rattlesnake stuff. And we're here today to teach you guys a couple different ways to differentiate um, a rattlesnake from a gopher snake. Those are two very common snakes we have here in Utah and most likely the most two common snakes you will run into. Um, the first and most obvious is going to be the rattle. Uh, there are some instances where rattlesnakes may lose their rattle but you're going to notice that the tail is always going to be blunted. It is never going to come to a point where, as you can see, the gopher snake's tail comes to a very di distinct point. Um, Lindsay here is going to tell you a couple different ways that gopher snakes will try and mimic rattlesnakes. So gopher snakes will mimic rattlesnakes by flattening their head out and mimicking the uh, head shape of the rattlesnakes. So as you can see here on our prairie, his head is a little bit more triangular, and so the gopher is gonna flatten his more conical head out and try to mimic that triangular head shape. And they'll also flick their tails similar to how rattlesnakes do. And they won't make that sound, but it will look very similar to a rattlesnake. Another, another distinctive feature that rattlesnakes have that gopher snakes don't is going to be cat eyes. They have slit pupils, uh, whereas gopher snakes are always going to have rounded pupils those tips will help you differentiate um, a gopher snake from a rattlesnake if you do run into either. But in any case, if you're not sure if it's a rattlesnake or a gopher, it's always best to just give it its respective space um, and don't try to pick it up. But hey guys, we have a saying here at Scales and Tails, if you do run into a rattlesnake, um, to keep yourself safe. It's called a three-step process and it's one, two, three. You take three steps backwards and you're going to be safe. Um, you take photos, admire it from a safe distance, and you're not going to have any issues at all.